for the first time ever, I'm on the roof of the uh, rig here. And remember that uh, Geraldo Rivera special where he was going to open Al Capone's uh, secret uh, secret hideaway room with supposedly all the loot and money and the friggin' thing was empty except a $2 wine, <laughs> $2 bottle of wine. Well, this could be the same thing today. I'm going to, uh, I'm up here with the uh, storage container and I've never opened it before. So I'm going to open it. God knows what I'm going to find in it, guys. So uh, come on down here to uh, to RV top level and we'll pop the, uh, boy, that isn't even closed, that one. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's hinged and the thing isn't going to just go on the other side, so... Man, what the hell do we got here? Disc parts, it looks like we got a jack in there. Yeah, all kinds of empty boxes. Yeah, all kinds of friggin' parts. A, a water pump. I don't know why in the hell you would save an old water pump. Go figure. It's all this uh, oil seal. Well, that's good to know that the oil seals were redone or there's a uh, spare parts God just never threw anything away boot kit what the hell that is boot kit I guess that's for the uh, I guess that's for the airbag it's an old old alternator and this guy just kept all oh, this old crap what the hell that is hoses galore there's an airbag. I guess they replaced one of them before. Maybe I'll be able to sell that thing. Who in the hell knows? Got the old uh, distributor cat. Man, what a treasure trove up here. Looks like a snake too for snaking out the drain. So, well guys, uh, you know, no, uh, no buried, uh, well, no containerized treasure up here, but uh, yeah, it looks like I'm uh, going to have to go through this and get rid of some of this uh, crap. I don't know what this thing is, boutique. In here, I guess that's disc brake. Another fucking uh, distributor cap. What the hell's going on here? I don't know, guys. What's that? More electrical parts. Well, I guess this shit will come in useful one day, huh? Alright guys, that's the end of the show. Okay, I was asked to explain my philosophy on uh, waterproofing and changing out things. And I'm, I'm one of those people, if it's not broke, if it ain't broke, don't muck with it or don't uh, fix it. All this stuff obviously has been holding a good seal. It does not mean I don't want to eventually uh, replaced with stainless steel screws but you know you go mucking around with things and then you're gonna have screw heads break off and you're gonna have some problems and you're gonna have to do drill outs and those kind of things and uh, uh, it can really be uh, you know you can you can do some harm so what I am going to do is go over inch by inch on the roof here looking for any uh, any signs at all of any uh, any uh, breaks or in the uh, the uh, sealer we don't use silicone I have a very special sealer that I ordered from uh, the GMC uh, RV place that should uh, should do the job so so far so good I'm looking around I'm gonna get the broom and sweep off the top here and then uh, get down and take a really really close look and uh, the curtain should just about be done too out of the washing machine and we want to pull them out and uh, let them dry so you know, onward and onward guys let me tell you missy jen this is the finest gmc rv motor coach styling profiling being out there on the road representing Give anybody 60 minutes in the rolling rancho. What do you think? Missy Jen, let me tell you, brother. This is it. This is the rig. This is the way you want to go. This is living. Dan Burson, Will Travels, all those guys, all my camper van Carl, all those guys. 
you wish you had the least a Marie, but you've got your class B's. You're all right in my book. Missy Jen, you're all right. These, uh, these curtains just turned out beautifully from inside of the uh, front of the coach. So what we decided to do is keep these uh, T's because uh, this, this side has all perfect uh, T connectors here. So this is 41 years old and these things are still going strong. Uh, we're missing some on the ends down here, but what we're going to do is go down the whole length and we're going we're gonna to keep the T's. We're not going to cut them off. And we're just going to use these as supplemental hanging points in there. So, um, you know, with the little uh, O-rings that we have. So, Jen's going to go down and add, add uh, we're going to put about 20, 20 down each side here. And uh, didn't they turn out nice, Jen? Those uh, curtains are beautiful. They got no stink to them anymore. They look brand new. They look brand new. And uh, if you had to go out and buy these, they'd be about... Uh, 250 300 bucks to do a set of these things so again we're pretty lucky so i'm gonna let jen get to that you might want to you know, take your time just so that metal doesn't stick out above so you don't see it we try to set these uh, hooks so you don't see the metal above the uh, top it's I'm about sure a don't yeah don't poke these aren't real sharp these curtain hooks so okay all right Go to it, lady. I'm going to go out here and start cleaning up. And then I'm going to call it a vid on this one and move on to the next project. All right, guys. We've had a few laughs with the uh, Jerry Garcia. <clears throat> just like the uh, Al Capone. Right? The uh, Al Capone secret, uh, secret stash. So, last thing I want to do, at least in here, before we get in fabricating the Cobra, man, is I want to get this stuff cleaned up real good. This, uh, this is just totally out of control here now. Uh, yesterday I did the uh, treatment on the black tank. I had ordered that uh, stuff that I talked about. This, uh, the hell this called the uh, level gauge cleaner. And I put that in yesterday. So I'm going to let that just uh, slosh around for a couple weeks or so. Work its way in there. But uh, so far nothing's busted loose on there. You can see that's still down, that's still uh, frozen into position. I'm just dreading having to change that out. But time to get crack, and next time you see this coach, it's going to be beautiful inside. <sighs> you tired yet? I'm sure getting tired, but uh, doesn't a place look nice? All cleaned up, everything very orderly. Really looking good. Got the uh, front cleaned up too. There, you can see how nice that's looking all set we'll go you show you outside <clears throat> I managed to fix this I had to take the uh, whole door apart here because this uh, this leather trim piece was off this end so I had to remove that remove this top panel here get underneath and put a screw uh, behind to hold it in and then pop the trim piece on like I've told you so many times before though I'm very blessed because uh, Jerry Garcia never threw anything out. So, you know, the trim piece is in there. I thought, well, today's the day to get that done. We got one last thing to do today, guys. Jen has finished uh, prepping all the curtains with the new hook. So I guess it's time to uh, get them mounted. And then we really will be calling it a day. Okay, everybody, a really long day has come to an end. You can see the uh, curtains are hung up here, and boy, are they beautiful. I just can't tell you what they uh, smelled like before, but having them uh, laundered and really clean with new hooks and uh, new fasteners, it just, it just gets better and better and better. I want to thank you all for being along today. It was really hot, and uh, phew, the uh, air conditioner I had plugged into the regular... Uh, uh, industrial sort of uh, extension cord but it didn't like that at all so it kind of I went and picked up the cord it was like wow red hot so too much current being carried there so anyway just finished on uh, just running the fan a little bit but anyway guys thanks for being here today and um, I always appreciate you being along on the channel it's uh, it's a lot of fun it's a lot of work to restore and get these old uh, rigs going going right but it is a labor of love and i appreciate you being along and uh, comments are welcome and thumbs up are most appreciated thanks